the Times episode 546 from this undisclosed construction site. Undisclosed construction site along a walking trail. Look at this. This walking trail is going to be filled with construction for months probably. Also, despite coaches please for me to remove my mask. I'm leaving it on because the air quality is terrible. Broad daylight and look how the sky looks. It's not the best air quality. Something about Tommy Rich, I don't know. People keep talking Tommy Rich, Tommy Rich. But look at that, I got my Arby's mask. Arby's, one of Beast Barnett's favorite fast food joints of all time. He loves the Jamocha milkshakes and the bacon Swiss chicken sandwiches. He loves it. For the people that love the snaps, there's Chicken Bob. Chicken Bob. He's feeling a little under the weather. He's better now. He'll be even more better in a few days. He'll be back to normal. Look, I got for QT out of a little free library, The Duchess of German Street by Daphne Fielding. That's Daphne Fielding. Hopefully Kurt Brazes will get a book just like this. He and QT will read the book and give us book reports. Will compare and contrast their feelings on the Duchess of German Street. Pamphlet at the sign of the times. Every show needs a pamphlet. Demon and Bunny Coffee. It's a delicious coffee. You can ask Keith Ryan about that. He'll tell you. Current book I'm reading The Six Man by Andre Igudala. CAC program. CAC is very nearly upon us. Just to boot here. The Twitter, where you can follow me, but not literally. Much like Keith Ryan himself does. Much like rogue wrestling attractions do. They sure do. They follow me, but I don't see the whole promotion popping up in this construction site. That'd be a weird place for a ring. Facebook, Instagram, the YouTube, which you may be watching right now, and hopefully you subscribe to E. Stompin' Steve's Nervous Stomach. He gets the nervous stomach when people don't subscribe to the channel. That's what it looks like at Stompin' Steve's favorite lawyer, Stephen P. New's office. Look at that, Stompin' Steve would probably hire Steve New if somebody came into his home and broke his museum quality glass collection or something. He'd have Stephen New all over them. He'd probably get the chair picture of old Ken Hamlin throwing a rock through the McDonald's. I'd like to see him throw a rock 90 feet today with his air quality. He may not be able to get it more than 75 miles an hour. Seymour Schnott, who competed earlier at Gouge. Gouge had a big show today. They sure did. Seymour Schnott was there. I got a picture of Kevin Sullivan. He'll be going into the CAC soon. And there he is with Mark Lewin, the purple haze. Ironic because look at this. The sky is a purple haze. You could say that the sky is a contrast between Mark Lewin and Tommy Rich. Oh yeah. I almost forgot Paul and his buddy pal John Lennon. That was before the split. Paul and his freak show. Paul and Wonderful's act. Paul and his niece Casey Carlisle. I don't think they went to the wedding of old thumbs up Lance Dean when his wedding was outdoors and it was like this or maybe even worse. People dropping from the lack of oxygen they were having a wedding. Picture like that at CaseyCarlisle.com. That's CaseyCarlisle.com. Look at that. If you're old enough. Whole wall of belts she has. There's a big one. There she is. There she is. A little bit cheeky. Another large title, but I believe this is Coach's favorite. There she is, smaller. QT's favorite with the pillow. There she is. There she is holding up those belts. A little bit angry. And members of Team Bad Knees. This one has a birthday today. Cameron Starr's birthday is today. She probably celebrated by throwing forearms and knocking people out. That's one of her passions in life, knocking people out with the forearm. That's why they call her the forearm ninja. So, you also have the JB Moonshine t-shirt. You can get that if you can see JB through the thick haze of smoke in the air. He can probably hand you the chains if he like, can see you. 
Maybe I'll meet you at this construction site here with a bunch of t-shirts. You can make a business transaction right there. But this week, a busy week. On Sunday on Turnbuckle Turmoil, we have Yvonne Sieber, promoter of CPW. She'll be returning to the show if she can speak with all this smoke in the air. That's a crapshoot, probably. I'm not going to be lying to Timber Pro Wrestling because they canceled the show because of the air quality. You can't sports entertain in air like this. You'd pass out before the opening bell. Monday. Yeah, pretty much looking free. Tuesday. Maybe I'll watch old episodes of Amen, the old Sherman Helmsley sitcom. That was a good one. On Wednesday, eh, pretty much looking free. Thursday, not a lot going on. Next Friday on the show, we have Peyton Bowman, fine official out of the southern Indiana, Kentucky area. He officiates matches all over the map. We're glad to have him on board as a guest. But to review from this undisclosed construction site, where if you notice, RWA is not holding a show. Sunday, we have Yvonne Zebra. I'm not going to be lying anywhere because this air quality is terrible. Terrible. Tommy Rich be walking around saying, Hey! 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 How y'all do when you want to buy a t-shirt? Someone say something about fire up? And they said, yeah, because look at all the smoke in the air. On... Um, Monday, pretty much free. Tuesday, maybe I'll watch some old episodes of Amen. That was a good show. Vastly underrated. I believe it's Kurt Frazes' top eight shows that he's ever watched in his whole entire life, ever. Wednesday's pretty open. Thursday, not much happening. Friday, Peyton Bowman comes to the show. Coach will probably want to know what type of coffee he drinks. Maybe he'll ask him what his favorite color of referee shirt is. Maybe QT will call in and ask him what condiments he gets on his hamburger after shows. I don't know. I don't know what we'll ask that poor young man. But pretty much episode 546, as we gasp for air here wearing Arby's masks, 